Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. I'm John. In this video, we're going to talk about something you can do that will make your organization of your project so much better. And that is coloring your tracks and using track icons. The purpose of this is so that you can instantly identify what type of track it is you're working with and find it easily and not have to squint and see your track name. First, I'll show you how to do it manually, assigning it to each track, and then I'll show you an automatic way. So here we are in Reaper, and I've got a track loaded up. It's the default color, and I'm going to right-click and choose Custom Track Colors. And we have a few options here. Set tracks to custom color, set track to random color, track to one random color, and default color. So let's go to the first option here. And it brings up the color palette. On Windows, it'll look different than this, but basically you'll have options for assigning any color to it. Down here, we have favorites. Grab any color. Let's take this green. We grab this and drag it over to save a favorite preset color. Often, I'm using this crayon box. So you just pick a color and then click OK. And now this track is colored. Now, if you are not seeing this on your Reaper installation, you need to look in the preferences, look for tint, tint track panel backgrounds. Yeah, that. So if you have it like this, I believe that's the default. So the track title, you can have both if you want. You can see that the background for the text is also red. So I like to keep this off personally. Actually, let's label this something that makes more sense. So like guitar. And let's say every time I have a guitar in my project, I use red. That way, at a glance, I can see the color red. I know that that track is a guitar. You set up a system for yourself just to simplify your workflow. You can also assign track icons. So right click custom track icons and set track icon. Here are the included track icons and you can download more on the Reaper stash and you can import any image file. So this is a guitar. Let's just grab this one and click open. And there you go. So we've got it in the TCP track control panel. You can also show it in the mixer. You can click here for the mixer options. Also right click on the tab for the mixer and show track icons in mixer. And there we go. So now if we have a whole bunch of tracks, instantly see that this track is the guitar because of the icon and the color. So this also works on multiple selected tracks. So let's name this one kick and snare and hat and overhead. You can select all these tracks right click custom track colors and set to let's do one random color so they're all purple we choose this other option random colors it will randomize the colors of the selected tracks and we can set it back to default icons will also apply to these selected tracks we just grab the drums click open and now instantly you can see that these are all drum tracks. And we can assign this to a color, assign this blue. Now you know every blue track is the drums. Very simple, keeps you organized and you can work a lot faster. If you have the SWS extensions installed, you can go to auto color slash icon and it brings up this window. And there's a lot of options here, in fact, I'm going to clear all this, start fresh, just for you guys. So click Add. So this will go by the track, the marker, or the region, and then the filter. So usually that's a name. It could also be anything that's unnamed, anything that's a folder, anything that's a child track, meaning something that's within a folder. The receive is something that's receiving from other tracks, and then the master track. So let's just call this guitar. And we can assign an icon. 
Let's find an electric guitar. Telecaster. And assign the color. Now, here's where things might be a little weird. You can't see the color because the selected color is the same as the default window color. So it's hard to tell, but there's a button right here. So let's make all our guitar tracks tangerine colored. Click apply, and there it's applied that. We can also make this more automatic by going to uh, options and choosing enable auto track icon and enable track coloring. So now if I name this track guitar, it's automatically assigned the icon and colored it. Now with drum tracks, it's a lot of individual instruments in the drum group. So most likely you're going to have your tracks in a folder. So let's call this drums and we'll add a new filter here. Set this to be drum or drums. Choose icon here and then color. We'll choose, we'll choose this blue. You have to remember to close this window each time. Okay, and that's colored it. Now we need another filter here. Children receive the parent's color. And put these in a folder. Let's grab the kick to the overhead and drag up. Let's manually assign these to a new color so it's not the same. Set it to random colors. Now grab these and drag it up onto the folder track. <laughs> and it didn't. Uh, but that's okay because we can press this force button. Uh, that's also useful if you load in a template that has your colors already assigned, but it's not the same as your auto color options. You can just click that force button and it'll force this set of rules onto your tracks and icons. Let me show you the gradient option. So let's say vocal. Uh, let's say these are all called vocal. So we go track, name it, vocal, and it gets a microphone. Sure. And then it gets gradient color. There we go. All right, guys, that's about all there is for track colors and track icons in Reaper. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything I put out here. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.